Hey everyone, so in the previous video we explained how we can create a foreground service and how to start it and the foreground service obviously didn't interact uh, directly with the activity so now our goal is um, for our activity to get the information of what the service is doing, what the progress is we need to bind to that service so let's go back to our documentation here if you go to bound services over here on the left side you can see here all the explanation of how to bind to a started service so there are three ways of binding to a service and I'm going to um, explain this um, the very common way of uh, binding to a service so by extending the binder class so if you click over here um, we can see here implementation how you can do this so in our service this is really pretty easy all you have to do is create a class that extends binder class and then uh, create an object of that binder and then return it on bind we used to return null but now we will return binder because we need our activity to be bound to that service so let's begin so first of all let's copy this and paste it into here okay now in local binder over here and of course this our service name is this and okay that's it for here we only need to return that binder that we created all right so now if we go to our main activity we need to so here as Sean what do we need so we need the service object and we need to uh, bind to the service in on start that's very important you have to bind to that service on start and unbind from the service on stop okay so after we create the service we need to bind to that service so we have to implement the on start and on stop callback and of course control and o start on stop and we need to bind to that service so the service is hello service and unbind from the service so what do we need here so the bound and bound so we need these actually <coughs> and this is hello service okay so what's left is the service connection that the uh, uh, object that actually binds to that service so we need to copy that and we need to import all packages all right so to start we need to um, provide something so let's go back to our service um, all right so actually so now the service will be bound but we will not see anything so um let's let's um let's go to our so we have our text view we need to update our ui to show the service progress so let's create text view let's initialize that text view and let us um, okay so what we need is to update the text view with the current progress of our service so the fastest and most common way to do this is by creating um, an interface so let's create an interface class we do public interface uh, say progress 
call bank and we will provide a function say on progress update to enter your progress okay so we need to uh, pass in this object to our service from the main activity all right so as as you can see here we get the on service connected we get the binder we can initialize the binder from our service and then we can get the service from here okay uh, we can actually add another function say void set callback and the callback is of type progress callback okay and let us create we do private progress callback say uh, callback okay and here we are going to define this callback of the same callback that we received to, from our main activity. So if we go back to our main activity, on service connected, what I want is to binder dot set callback new progress callback. Okay, so if we go to our um, service, so every update I want to call this callback. Okay, so every update what I want to do is do this um, let us do this let us update the progress um, oh okay. let's actually do this over here so we do callback dot progress updates and we are going to update our current progress but what if the service started but nothing binds to it? So this is going to crash because callback is going to be null because this will not be called if the service was not bound. So of course we need to check callback doesn't equal to null. Then update the progress. All right, let's go back to our main activity. And here, all I'll say is uh, we have our text view. We're going to set text. Uh, so let's do this string dot format. Well, um, oops, sorry. Get defaults, percent D, and pass in the progress. All right, so this is not going to work because it's run not running actually on the UI thread. So what you need to do is um, you call run on UI thread in your runnable and paste it over here and make this final. All right, so now if I um, run the app, can see I can see the updates so even if I quit the app and go back to it um, yeah I can still still see the updates over here until it reaches 99 so let's quit the application start it again you can see the update quit the application and start it from here you can see the update is still going on and we have a working bound uh, service, started our bound service. All right, so that's it for the started and bound service. Um, if you guys have any questions, let me know in the comment section. If you like this video, please give a thumbs up and subscribe for more tutorials. Thank you very much and goodbye.